Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshay, open source software evangelist and also a freelance developer of uh, full stack applications and I'm a trainer of data science and analytics. I've been developing tutorials on uh, VBA programming. Uh, in my previous videos, I've explained how to write the programs for a couple of statistical measures, but unfortunately, I didn't talk much about data types. In this video, I'm going to talk about data types. In VBA, there are different types of data. Uh, there is a detailed documentation on MS Office uh, portal. Now these are the different, uh, like you have Boolean, Byte, Currency, Date, Decimal, Double, Integer, Long, something like that. Uh, it is very important to know about the range of each data type. Suppose if we are dealing with Boolean and this data type supports only either true or false kind of response. And when we are dealing with Byte, we should remind a particular uh, principle that we may not be able to save or go beyond 255 any value beyond 255 now there is something called currency and this range is pretty high and uh, and VB also supports a peculiar data type called date and this is a range for decimal and now double you have kind of uh, you know, it is very interesting to know the decimal double there are two different types of uh, data now we got the int integer where you can uh, you can go be you cannot be go beyond 32767 something like that you cannot say 40000 when you declare a variable or data as integer uh, and there is also uh, a, a kind of documentation on these uh, types like uh, there is one very important uh, data type called uh, variant and this is very very important because a variant is a, a, a kind of common data type which you can use it for anything like you can declare an array, integer, double, string, something like that. Here there is a small description, any numeric value of the range of double. You can just, I think uh, I, I did it wrong, uh, you cannot save the text and strings, something like that. Most of the time I'll be using variant for my needs uh, because I don't like to, okay, whenever I get doubt, uh, do I need to do for, do I need to go for integer or double or decimal or something like that. Whenever I get that, that dilemma, I simply go ahead and use variant. That, uh, that is very handy. Now I'm going to uh, explain you how to deal with data types using two functions inside VBA. They are type name and web type. Okay, my VBA module is already opened and there is an empty sub here. I'm going to define a variable i and now I'm going to declare define this as an integer. Uh, as I said, the integer has got uh, a range. Let us see. Yeah, this is the range. Okay, I'm going to say uh, 40,000, 40,000, something like that. I'm just going to I mean set this value to 40,000 and let's see what's going to happen. Now save, whenever you save the module, your uh, Excel will prompt this uh, I mean, window that you just have to press OK and then run this. You see there is an error. Now why? Because uh, we went uh, beyond the range of, now this time let's go for 30,000 and then save. Now run this you got uh, I think I, there is nothing actually uh, which means uh, VBA was executed now I want to message I want to create uh, I want to uh, know what type of data it is uh, if that is the case then we need to output the response I'm going to use message box to uh, create the result um, as I said there are two types of uh, functions and I'm going to use lab type okay then I now let's see what's going to be the response from this. You see there is an integer 2. Now the funny part of VBA is that it always will try to show you a value whenever you would like to know the type of the variable, VAT type. We use the VAT type here, you see. Whenever you would like to know the VAT type, the VBA will try to exhibit the integer. Based on the integer, we need to know whether, I mean based on the value, we need to know whether what type of data it should be now what I do I will change this I will make it as a string and then this time instead of a number I'm going to make uh, a word now 
when I run this program, you see I got a different number 8. Now let's go back and see what is this 8. This 8 is a string. Now let me uh, change this into long. Okay because I want to use that a high value for my let's go here long long is something minus uh, something it goes into the millions uh, 2 billion 147 million 483,648 something like this so you can just copy this and paste it here and now let's see what's going to happen okay uh, I think there is another because this is a string, this is not a number. And now when you press OK, run this code, you got 3. Now let's go back and see what is the 3. The 3 should be something called long. So this way we can uh, verify what kind of data that we have, we are, we are using in our program. Now I am going in a different way. Uh, there is another function called uh, type name. This is just exactly a of the uh, previous one. Now, since we know that it is long, okay, sometimes what happens, we just uh, simply, we can declare as i, I don't know, I'm just going to do that, let's see, yeah, long. See, sometimes what happens, I just can take uh, different, uh, you know, variables, I can come here and, uh, you know, use them in my program, and use them in my program, and then when, at the end of the program, when I, uh, use when I when I use this function type name, then it is possible for me to know the type of the data. Yeah, you got the long. Now let me let me uh, change it as a, and then you got the integer. Then this time let me change it as uh, no, what is happening here? Uh, J integer J J I don't know probably. now go for this is an integer something like that now um, let me change A to a string and then see this time what is going to happen I change A and then go and run this you got string so this is actually the advantage of uh, type name so I hope you understand this uh, video this is how we try to understand we, we try to define the data and also understand the type of the data uh, thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the new content and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel if you like this video thank you